Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the Nibelheim flashback for Cloud. Tief is going to be our guide through Mount Nibel, or Mount Nibel, or Mount Nibel, however the hell you pronounce it. What a coinky dink. It's too dangerous! Yeah, Cloud. You're a manly man. Protect her. And this photographer wants a picture of us. Come on, Sephiroth. Come on! Come on! There you go. Sweet, I can't wait. Kind of a strange place for a uh, Maka reactor. This bridge looks scary. Oh shit! No! Why do bridges always do that? Yeah, we survived the fall because we're awesome. RPG characters can survive falls from any height. Huh, well I guess we're just gonna leave that guy behind. We're missing one, but oh well. Kiyu Vuldunz? I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, Sephiroth can one-shot anything in this area for you, so... You don't even have to bother using Cloud for anything. By the way, let's check out Sephiroth's equipment. Masamune, the gold armlet, and the tooth ring. That's actually a typo. It's supposed to say tough ring. But, uh, we'll be able to get one of those for ourselves later in the game. Pretty good accessory for defense. And then he's got some badass materia as well. Maxed out life, restore, earth, quake, fire, lightning, and ice. Wish we could have them in our party, but oh well. I mean, there is a way to do it with Game Shark and stuff like that, but. He's, uh, locked at level 50, and, uh, you can't control him, and. Can't change his equipment, unless you have, like, hacking codes. What do we have here? What be this? A Mako fountain. Miracle of nature. Ooh, shiny. Is 
So this is materia in its natural state. <laughs> Hojo. I never understood what Tifa was doing at this part. Looks like she just, like, fell over. Moving on, then. To the reactor. Well, it got a lot bigger now that we're close to it, huh? Wait outside! Authorized personnel only, Tifa. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. Angry stomp. Tifa has engaged pouting mode. Hey, Sefi, wait up. Yeah, uh, now move faster. There we go. Genova. Why do you make me do everything? I don't know. Um, what did Hojo put in there? Eh. Oh. I'm trying to, but I can't unless I talk to you. Hello there, scary monster man. Yeah, they got mutated. Um, Sephiroth? Um, the what? Um, I don't know. Hey, crazy man, you wanna comment down on the slicey slices?
And Hojo was the one behind all the Mako energy and the monsters and all that jazz. And we're going to take a breather here. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll continue next episode with the final part of this flashback.